Hey, what is up, guys? My name is Sanket. You are watching Sanket's Brush. And actually, in the last stream, I failed to complete this uh, little thing, this uh, transition between maps. Okay. Actually, I failed to write a correct code up for this. After that, I gave some time on this uh, function here. Actually, uh, what is happening here is uh, let me show you. Uh, actually, whenever I cross the finish line, then uh, this uh, little menu should appear in front of the screen. Oh, wait a second, not like that. Okay, now I should uh, hide it first. Okay. Now uh, here we go. Okay, now whenever I press the previous level, the player will go to previous level, restart current level, we will start and next level will go to the next level. Here you can see this is our second level. So this is how this menu works. So how I managed to do that. So here you can see uh, what is going to happen here is in the script, in the script of this menu, uh, first of all, whenever I uh, enter the area of finish, uh, finish line, whenever I cross the finish line, here you can see finish crossed, whenever I cross the finish line, the menu, this menu node will get visible, will be visible. And after that, uh, whenever I, if I press the button, previous button, then however car uh, or how we go, go back to previous level. So this is how we go back to previous level is, uh, first of all, we have a current scene that is an integer. I declared it as an integer. I'll tell you why. So here you can see in function ready current scene equals string dot current scene name dot integer that means uh, i am getting my uh, i am getting the name of current running scene as you can see i never name i never give the names to my uh, wait okay now you can see clearly as you can see i never give the names to my levels I give them numbers. So actually these numbers are in the string value. I mean, what do you call that? In the string state or something like that. So these are the strings. So whenever the, actually I'm seeing that as a one, two, three, four, but this is how computer is going to see this. This is how computer is going to see the numbers of the levels. So what I did, uh, first I converted the string value to the integer value. And after that, I <laughs> added a uh, path of all of these uh, levels here, as you can see. So something like this, we just don't have this value here. Uh, otherwise you can see everything else is same and yes so what is happening here i am going to uh, i mean what is happening here whenever i press the previous button uh, or previous level button pressed then i am going to my i am going to subtract our current value current scene with one that means if our current scene is five um then that means five minus one is four. We are going to our previous, uh, uh, we are having a value of four and then we are going to go to his, uh, I mean this path here. So yes, and same with the next level, but instead of subtraction, we are using addition here, add one, and you are going to go to the next level. Uh, so yes, basically that's it uh, and 
whenever I press the restart, you can see this. Actually, this is uh, shown in the in the Godot documentation. So yes, I thought uh, of I thought of making that this video here. Uh, a tree dot current string name. Okay, I don't need this one here. Wait a second. Oh yeah, let me check again if I can if this code have any glitches. It's a pretty simple code, so and here it is visible on the next level, and we are on level two. Here you can see and okay let me complete this and show you again so okay here you can see the previous level restart current level and next level now you can see we are on level three so yes that's it uh actually i failed last time so i thought sharing this code with you guys and by the way if you want to see the code so yes it is the code or then check the code and yes i mean yes uh i just wanted to make this video so i thought about making it and yes uh,